Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today we're going to do a variety rip where I just open a whole bunch of different packs, value packs, and things of that nature that I've picked up over the last several months and just kind of accumulated. We're going to just get into all kinds of stuff today. i got a big stack here that we're going to go through. It's always a lot of fun because there's always something in there for everybody. If you're into football, I got that. You're into baseball, hockey, even some non-sport cards, whatever you're into. I'm going to get into some of it today, so you can stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. First, I wanted to show you this really select flyer that I got in the mail for Cash Carnage Cashes. Uh, Cash Valley is uh, where we live up here in Utah, and this is Cash Carnage, which is apparently some sort of auto destruction show. I'm not sure. I've never been to one of these before, but uh, anyway, that's what's uh, going on around here, and it uses the alternate spelling of experience with the I there in the middle, which is usually reserved for third grade spelling tests in my experience. And then the sponsors of this uh, wholesome event, not, you know, not surprisingly, are a bunch of auto body shops. And then the last one is an insurance company. Really? That's, that's what you're, you're gonna, your insurance company is gonna come out and sponsor Cash Carnage. That's where uh, that's where you think you're going to spend your advertising dollars. I don't know. Anyway, that's something uh, if you're in the area to look forward to because, you know, that's going to be pretty good stuff there. All right, what are we going to open today? I'm tired of mocking flyers. That I should do that more often. Maybe get a lot of flyers that are really dumb. This one is uh, Optic Football, and this just came out pretty recently. It's 2023 Optic Football. See, it's got uh, Anthony Richardson and Brock Purdy rookies which is what we're looking for out of here and uh, there's all kinds of other exclusive stuff including some rated rookies green velocity parallels so uh, i'm gonna be on the lookout for whatever that is also got uh, what do we have here this is some uh, baseball and as you can see this was a discounted one i was delighted to find this it's big league 2023 and i really liked this product a lot 36 cards in here that's going to be a lot of fun got a pokemon product this is the newest one i think this is Twilight Masquerade, ladies. Twilight Masquerade. I don't know where they came up with the name for that. The, the names of Pokemon products are vexing. I think Twilight Masquerade was actually the uh, theme of my homecoming dance. Not that I went. That will surprise no one that I wasn't really a go-to-the-dance kind of guy. We got a hockey pack here, and this is 2022-2023 Upper Deck Series 2. Looking for Young Guns cards out of there, and that's uh, 30 cards in there. Got another discount pack, which I always love to get, and this goes back to 2022 Illusions Football. We're looking for uh, several different guns and parallels in here, 20 cards in that. Got another baseball pack and another discount pack. This is a Heritage pack from last year, so that's pretty sweet. Looking forward to that. And our last pack is a Pokemon pack 151, which uh, have several of these, and it was a hard expansion to get. It includes the original 151 Pokemon from the original base set, and uh, they're redone in sort of different new ways and whatnot. So anyway, that's what we got here. Let's start off with uh, this Heritage Pack. Again, this is last year's Heritage. We get, uh, we get more value according to, according to the pack. We're getting 20 cards out of here, and these are in the style. This year's Heritage is in the style of 19... 75, but last year's heritage is in the style of 1974, so that's what we're going to get out of here, and we do get a pack with one of the security tags, which some people think if there's a security tag in there, then that pack has something super special in it that they have to protect with the security tag. I don't think that's actually true. I've never once found that to be the case, but uh, some people believe that. There's Bryce Johnson starting things off. That is a rookie card, so not too bad there. Juan Soto, nice star there. And Eugenio Suarez for the Mariners. Tommy Edmond looking delighted. Jonah Heim and Paul Goldschmidt, another nice superstar card there. The former MVP, Trent Grisham there. And Luis Severino for the Yankees. Cody Bellinger, nice Cubs card there. And Randall Grichuk. We got Cal Mitchell, another rookie card there for the Pirates. We get a victory leaders card of Verlander and Wright. And Matt Brash with the uh, assonance in his name, Tyler Anderson. And there we get a sideways card of Bailey Falter, the pitcher for the Phillies. That's a rookie card. Get an insert. That's pretty sweet. It is a New Age Performers insert of Oswaldo 
Peraza, and that is a rookie card as well. So some nice rookies and some superstars out of here. Aaron Hicks and Manny Machado. We got uh, Martin Maldonado, and we finish off with Jorge Soler, or George Soler. I've heard it both ways, so I'm not sure which one he prefers. But in any event, there you go. That, uh, not too bad. We actually got some uh, pretty good star cards out of there. I'll just check a little later and see if I got any high numbers. I, uh... I think it was 400 and above were the high numbers for that set, if I recall. But I'll check that out. Let's see what's next. Get into this Pokemon 151 pack. See if we can pull a nice full art rare, perhaps a full art trainer, which I do collect and enjoy. So let's see. We get that goes over there, and one card, or one card from the back goes on the front, and we can guess what kind of energy it is. I think it is caffeine energy which is not a thing in Pokemon. It's actually leaf energy. Caffeine energy is a thing in my life, but not in Pokemon. Caterpie and Eevee. There you go. Eevee is definitely a classic from the original set. Grimer. It's a pretty cool illustration of that character. Weedle and Omanyte, who is, I guess, from the original 151. I didn't remember him. Tauros definitely is. Kadabra, certainly, and Butterfree is the... There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but that is the reverse hollow. See, the foil is in that part and not on the picture. Execute two reverse hollows in this pack, and our last card is a regular rare of a very classic character, Moltres. Very nice to see that. Put that on top. That's a nice one over there. We go with that, and uh, let's get in. I want to see this. That's a pretty new product. This is, uh, again, 2023 Optics, so we should see some nice stuff in here. We're looking for green velocity parallels, and we're also looking for some nice rookies in here. 12 cards. In this pack, lots of inserts and all kinds of other good stuff. Hopefully, we will pull something nice out of here. We start off with the uh, very good running back there, Josh Jacobs, with the Raiders, who uh, I think are a little underrated this season. Looking at their uh, offseason and what their team looks like, got a new coach. I think the Raiders are going to be better than people think they're going to be. Russell Wilson there, who is no longer with the Broncos. I believe he's with the Steelers, which is a weird decision for them to make. Mark Andrews, great tight end. And a favorite target of one of my favorite players, Lamar Jackson, Derek Stingley Jr., good young player there, Luke Keekley, and we get one of those Velocity Green Parallels, as promised. It's Parker Washington. It's a nice rated rookie card there. Pretty good to get that one. Another rated rookie there. It's Felix Andike Uzoma, who is a very good player for the Chiefs. Nice to see that. We got uh, Hardy Nickerson and Tyra Tyron Matthew. Montez Sweat, very good player, and DeAndre Swift. And we got uh, Mike Allstott, who hasn't been in the league for a good 10 years or so. So not a bad pack. Some rated rookies in there. Always like to see that. And we did get one of the inserts that they uh, promised us on the package. Let's get into the hockey pack. Only doing one hockey because it's 30 cards, which is, I think, uh, well, actually, it's 36 now that I'm looking at that. I guess I could have slipped another hockey pack in here. But I saw 30 cards, and I thought, that's a pretty big pack. I'm only going to do one of those. So here we go with hockey once again, doing a variety rip today and uh, trying to uh, just do a little bit of everything. So there's something here for everybody. Get a uh, security tag in that one too. Let's see if it uh, means there's something extra special in here. Sam Carrick is what starts off. Rasmus Asplund from Buffalo, Josh Morrissey and Ryan Pollock. Logan Couture, who looks... I don't know what's going on there. He looks twisted and bizarre. I don't know what's happened to Logan Kocher. He's, I don't know, he's got a very weird expression there. Philip Zadina and William Carlson. We got a sideways card here of Trevor Zegras. That's a pretty nice one there. Put that in the wolf lair. Mark Giardino there looking perplexed. Maybe he's just realized that he's playing hockey and has forgotten how that works exactly. Eli Tovanen. And we got another sideways card here. Seth Jarvis. Leon Disrattle, that's a pretty good card there. Oilers almost Stanley Cup champions. They staged some pretty good comeback games there, but couldn't quite pull it off. Nick Ritchie and Jonathan Marshall. Marshall, I don't know. Sam Bennett, Eric Cernak, and another sideways card here of Bowen Byram leaping out onto the ice for the pregame festivities. Pierre-Luc Dubois and Austin Watson... Robert Tomas and Zemgus Gurgnins. That's a weird expression, too. Is he yawning or is he snarling? I don't know. That was a lyric in an old Tragically Hip song, actually. I stole that. Caleb Jones, Jack Hughes, and Elias Lindholm for you. Eric Robinson, Philippe Tomasino, and 
Semyo Varlamov, the goalie for the Islanders, Matt Dumba and Jesse Poljarvi, and then we finish off with James Van Riemsoyk for the Flyers. So there you go. It doesn't look like he even has a stick out there on the ice. I guess James feels like he doesn't need a stick. He's just going to go out there and use his hands. That's how he's going to play hockey. I don't think that's going to work out for James, but his choice. Let's Twilight Masquerade things here. Yeah, let's enter into the Twilight Masquerade, ladies and gentlemen. Should be a good time. I actually don't know much about this set. It came out somewhat recently, and I think it's... Uh, the set that is the most recent expansion, I'm not sure. I know it has only been out for like a month or so. I've not opened any of this, do not know much about what is in this set, but we're going to find out together. Let's see now. What is our energy going to be? I guessed caffeine energy on the last one. I'm going to guess, uh, let's see, I'll guess gasoline energy on this. That's also not a Pokemon energy. Instead, we get uh, psychic energy, which is mysterious, weird energy. Litwick and Poochiena. We got Timber carrying off a telephone pole there. Uh, Palisand and Boomerang Energy. I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty sweet. Boomerang Energy. Slurpuff, which that is a very weird Pokemon. And then there's Perrin, who uh, is a trainer, but that is not a full art, unfortunately. But uh, let's see what we have here. We've got a Reverse Hollow of Tad Bulb, who is not a Pokemon I'm not familiar with. Another Reverse Hollow there of Abra and a regular rare of Zapdos. That's pretty cool. We got Moltres and Zapdos. That's pretty neat. Two birds in our rare spots there. And classic Pokemon indeed, so that's pretty nice. Let's get into this big league pack and see what we get out of these 36 cards. Looking forward to seeing what is in here. I like this product a lot every year. And 2023 was especially good. Zach Wheeler starts things off here. Very simple but classic looking design. Always like Big League. It's a lot of fun to open these. Joey Gallo, Max Muncy, and Tyler Stevenson. Is he blowing a bubble there? I think he is, Tyler Stevenson, as he races down the baseline. MJ Melendez. We got Garrett Mitchell, rookie card from the Brewers. Jonathan Aranda, another rookie card there. And Oswaldo Cabrera, that's a pretty good one. Another rookie card there. We got Jake Cronenworth and Shane McClanahan. Steven Strasburg, very good pitcher there. Michael Kopeck and Hunter Renfro there for the Angels. Brian Reynolds. Chris Sale, very good pitcher. And then we get into some of the exciting cards in here, including Luis Robert City Slickers card. Very cool. They don't really show you much in the background of what Chicago actually looks like. I think they use just sort of a generic city background. There's the back of the card. Then we get Jeter, and I believe... With this card, we get a close-up look at Derek Jeter's Fun Box. Yes, there it is. You guys can all enjoy it with me. Derek Jeter's Fun Box. Derek was an honorable mention All-State Hoops player in high school. Did not know that about him, but not too surprised. He was certainly a good athlete. Here we have, hello, my name is Acuna. That's pretty sweet. I always like these cards. It's probably my favorite insert in the big league set from that year. I like it a lot, and I don't think I have that one, so that's going to get Wolf Laird. Our foil is Joe Musgrove. And uh, it's a pretty nice foil. Giancarlo Stanton also foiling it up there, and he's uh, demonstrating improper usage of the bat. I don't know what he's supposed to be doing with the bat there. I'm, I'm not even sure how you'd use a bat like that. Giancarlo maybe needs to go back to uh, talk to Charlie Lau or somebody. Ozzy Albies, excellent uh, second baseman for the Braves. Nice to see that foil. And we get a blue foil of Bo Bichette. That is sweet. Blue color match foil. For Bo Bichette, the Blue Jay. That is awesome. I don't really like the uh, picture. It looks like Bo Bichette's just taking batting practice in his pajamas or something. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, still pretty nice color match. I'll hang on to that one. Edward Cabrera and Luis Severino Cal Raleigh and Andrew Benatendi. We got CJ Crow and Eric Hosmer. Luis Areas and Tony Gonslin. Christian Javier, Logan Webb, Nick Castellanos going up against the fence for that one. Josiah Gray, Cedric Mullins. We finally get an Orioles card. And Brandon Nimmo, who uh, appears to be doing some sort of high step there. I don't know what uh, what he's doing there. That's not really the best way to trot down the baseline. Huh? Look, very strange pose or position there. Get to our last pack. It is Illusions from 2022. A lot of good rookies in here. 20-card value pack, and there are some very nice inserts. I like Illusions a lot. People are very, usually anyway, very split on this product. And... Uh, we will see how you guys feel about it. I think they're beautiful cards. They look better in person than they do on camera. I will say that. They look better in person. So there you go. I'll see if I can get these in focus and get the light to hit them just right. That's pretty good representation of how this one looks. It's Jalen Waddle, the excellent receiver for 
Miami. There's Jamar Chase, another excellent wide receiver. And uh, flip these over, I guess. So we have here, it's Travis Etienne Jr. The last time I pulled one of his cards, I said I think he's one of the best running backs in the league. And my feeling on that hasn't changed. I think he's uh, really underrated. We got Jahan Dotson, very good wide receiver. A lot of good wide receivers in here. Josh Jacobs again. We open only two packs of football today. And we get Josh Jacobs in both. Very strange. David Montgomery. Michael Thomas, who I don't believe is with the Saints anymore. Aiden Hutchinson, rookie card. That is a sweet pull right there. One of the best defensive players in the NFL, and that is a very sweet rookie to pull. Put that in the Wolf Lair for sure. DK Metcalf and Mahomes. That's all right. Nice to see that. My son's a big Mahomes fan, so that is one he will be delighted about. This is a really sweet card. It's Debo Samuel, and it's Shining Stars insert. And this, see if I can get the camera to pick this up. This has a uh, sort of uh, an embossed feel to it. It's it's actually a very nice card. Can't really see it on the back at all, but the front is uh, it's a pretty sweet card. If I was a Debo Samuel fan, I would be really excited about that. Put that over there and get to the rest of our cards. AJ Brown, very good card there. Alec Pierce and Ryan Tannehill, who uh, I don't know who he is. What is Ryan Tannehill doing? Is he? I don't think he's even is he on a roster? I'm actually not sure about that. We get some rookie cards coming up here. Traylon Burks, good player there. And James Cook, excellent running back for the Bills. He really came on strong last year. I thought I'm going to wolf layer that. We got Aaron Jones and Tom Brady, who I don't remember. Austin Eckler, who's no longer with the Chargers. I was really surprised Chargers let him go. He's uh, also top five running back, in my opinion. And Lamar Jackson. Hey, we finish off with a Raven and one of my favorite players. That is great follow the channel. You know I'm a Baltimore fan. If you like this episode, I hope you hit the thumbs up button. It helps out the channel quite a lot, and I really appreciate it. Tomorrow will be a pack battle against my old frenemy, <laughs> Average Joe, and uh, we are going to be doing some uh, newish product. I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming up tomorrow on the channel. So review what I kept in the Wolf Lair. Lamar Jackson, James Cook, rookie Mahomes, and Aiden Hutchinson, rookie. Very nice. Boba Shed color match parallel there. Acuna and uh, one hockey player's aggressed there. So uh, that is what went into the Wolf Lair today. Again, tomorrow on the channel, you got a pack battle. Average Joe and I go at it every Wednesday. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Thursday is going to be something awesome. Thursday is anything can happen day. And uh, I've got a product to open on Thursday that you guys, I think you're going to be pretty pumped about. So you do not want to miss Thursday's episode. That is going to be a lot of fun. Friday, of course, dorking with dice. And that's always fun. I am looking forward to this week. we got a lot of great stuff to do on the program this week, and I'm so happy that you guys are going to join me. Thank you so much. I will be back tomorrow with another episode for you. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday, and as always, happy collecting.